What's going on gamers? Today we're going over the chess shop plugin and how to install it on your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. There are tons of different things you can do in Minecraft. Adventure, build, or, you know, if you're like me, you quite literally put the mine in Minecraft. Whatever version of a player you are though, you definitely need resources every which way you look at it. And of course, if you're bored of just collecting resources the same old boring way and happen to be playing on a paper server, well, you can add the chess shop plugin in order to add just a little bit of spice into your online multiplayer server to have some fun with collecting resources. Before we jump into this tutorial though, you gotta know that you can find any link that you may need related to this tutorial in the description below. Just go down below the video here and you'll find it. The first thing we need to do is obviously install the plugin. Now this is a plugin, not a mod, so you're gonna head to Spigot, and again, you can find it in the description below. And you're gonna find the Chess Shop plugin, and with this, you usually are able to just install the latest version with the blue download now button. You're also going to need a vault as well as the plugin Essentials X. These are actually critical and will not run Chess Shop otherwise. To install the plugin, of course you're going to head to your Apex panel and stop the server with the red stop button. Once the server is offline, which may take a moment, you're going to want to head over to the left hand side where you see FTP file access. Go ahead and select that and log in with your control panel password once you have logged in, you're going to go to the plugins folder down at the bottom. Then you're going to go to the left hand side where you see upload and you're going to select that. Now in this page, you're going to drag and drop into the add file section the plugins that you downloaded. There should be three because again, they are dependent on one another. And once all three of them are uploaded at 100% and in the bottom where you see the uploaded blank out of blank files, in this case, three out of three, once everything is 100% uploaded, you're going to click the name of your server at the top, and then you're either going to start or restart your server in order to officially install the plugins. This may take just another moment, but once it is completed, you'll be good to go. Now, let's talk about how to play with Chess Shop. Of course, you're going to need a chest, but you're also going to need a sign and whatever you want to put in the chest to sell. For this example, I'll be dropping a whole stack of diamonds in, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place the oak sign on the front of the chest. Now, you're gonna wanna drop down to the second line already. In this line, this represents the number of items you want to sell at a time. In this case, I'm putting just 16. You'll drop down again, and then you'll type capital B, which represents the buy price. For this example, we'll mark the buy price at 14. Then you'll place a colon, and then you're going to put S, which represents sell. You can also sell a certain amount for however much you want to sell it for. Then you're gonna put a question mark at the last line and it'll automatically adapt to your chest, in which case that's what you're selling. This is obviously not going to matter if you're playing by yourself because you can't really sell to yourself, but with a friend, it should work no problem. Now let's cover a couple of common issues. The first is if the chests are broken. If this is the case, it's not a big deal. We just have to make sure that the economy plugins were installed correctly. Once again, these are dependent on Vault and Essentials X. If you don't have all three plugins installed properly, then they won't work together. All you have to do is double check that you've reinstalled them properly and you should be good to go. If you notice there's a little bit of lag, it could be because there's too many chests. The best way to solve this is ensure that you're running a paper server as it's the most optimized for our plugins. Once you are running the paper server no problem, then everything should be working just fine. That covers Chess Shops Gamers. This is a super fun and pretty straightforward plugin that is not too difficult to understand, so long as, you know, you're running the right server type. Now it's entirely up to you how you want to run the chess shop, especially the ones that belong to you, and you can have tons of fun with your friends online. This is a great way to add a little bit of variety to what is essentially a vanilla version of the game, and can add a little bit of fun for you and your friends. 
So, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. That'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.